now that we've linked atoms and bits together, we're able to tap all the advantages, the, the, the innovation and, and organizational advantages of bits with the attractions of physical stuff that we can use in our regular life. So right now, if you invent something, so let's say, for example, in my own company, we do aerial robotics. And so we invent um, you know, autopilots and, and electronics for robotics. You know, once upon a time, you needed to be a Sony to make sophisticated electronics. You needed you know, a factory. But now all we do is we just design it with free tools. We design these boards um, on, on the computer, much as you would design a, a document. Um, and then we just click and upload it. And we upload it to, um, to companies anywhere. There's some in the United States, there's some in China, and they fabricate these boards for us. A um, couple bucks a board. And uh, a few days later, they show up via FedEx at our doorstop. And um, now we're in the electronics business. Um, we don't have factories. We are not carrying very much inventory. It didn't cost a lot of money. And we're able to, because again, these tools of design and the factories of the world are now willing to work with us as individuals. A long time ago, they're like, uh, you'd call, you know, hello, printed circuit board factory. Can you please take our order? And they're like, who are you? And we're like, we're nobody. Now they have websites. So you can go to a site like Alibaba.com and um, just type, you know, let's say you want to you have a custom electric motor, just the right size, the right, the right power, type electric motor. You'll get a series of, uh, of manufacturers and there's hundreds of them out there. And um, increasingly you sort of say, okay, well, so here's the specs, here's exactly what I need. I need 100 orders, maybe we'll start with 10 as a sample and then if they're right, then we'll order more. Credit card, PayPal, you know, the way you shop on Amazon is not so different the way than, from the way you are now shopping for custom manufacturing in China. And so now I have access to the exact same factories, tools, manufacturing technology that the biggest companies of the world have access to. Um, and I can order at a scale that makes sense for me. What happens when you democratize the tools of production is that more people produce. And when more people produce, they make different things. They make things that the big companies might not have made. What you get is the long tail of stuff. Um, my kids are really into Lego. And we love Lego. Lego makes tons of stuff. But there are things that Lego doesn't make. Um, Lego doesn't make weapons, um, 20th century weapons by and large, because they're family-oriented company. But my kids want 20th century weapons. And not only do they want 20th century weapons, but my kids are also really into Halo. They really want Lego Halo. Well, as it happens, Lego hasn't licensed Halo, but there's a market demand for Lego Halo. So a, a guy named Will Chapman, who's an adult fan of Lego, decided to just solve that problem by making um, Master Chief. Uh, so today he has a company called Brick Arms. And you can buy weapons. And there's also a, a company called Brickforge. And between the two, you can get Master Chief's helmet, his visor, the assault rifle, and here's the nifty energy sword from the Covenant. Um, all of it created by regular folks using these powerful new tools. All those forces that we brought to innovation in open source software, we can now do in hardware. It's the same thing. People from around the world, regardless of where they come from, can come together to build something and by clicking and, and, and typing, they can make physical stuff.